What's up everyone, I'm Fernando and today in this video I want to show you guys what I've done to my truck. So this is a 2012 Toyota Tacoma, it's a V6 and it's a two-wheel drive. Sadly, I mean, I should have got the 4x4 but it is what it is. So anyways, I've had this truck for a little over three years and when I first bought it, it was completely original, it was stock, it looked the same as if it left the factory basically. And uh, I got bored of that pretty quick. So I made a few changes to it, to my personal taste and to what I use it for. And so today in this video, I'll be showing you guys like what I've done to my truck really, to the interior and to the exterior. I'll be showing you guys like before and afters to kind of show you guys like where it started and where it's at right now. And really like if you're watching this and you have a Tacoma or if you're thinking about getting one or maybe you have a different truck in general, I think this video will be helpful, helpful for you. I hope it is. Hope you guys get some kind of value out of it. So I'll be showing you guys like before and afters what I've done to mine, and hopefully that's that'll give you guys some ideas for things you want you might want to do to your truck. So um, yeah. Okay, so I've really gone for a blacked out look with this truck. First thing I did was I had the badges removed. So for example. There used to be a badge right there on the door. There used to be a little sticker right here. Some uh, logos and emblems on here and then also here as well. I had them all taken off. I just think it looks clean without them. And uh, I also had my tail lights blacked out. So these are the original tail lights. I just had, I had a shop do them for me. I had them tint them. And uh, well, it's not actually tint, it's more like paint or something. But uh, anyways, guys, just for future reference if you are gonna have your light have this done to your lights i definitely recommend you leave the reverse light clear because that's not something i paid attention to and so you know the guys they just do the whole thing they didn't leave that clear and so when i'm reversing at night i really have to be more careful because i can't really see too well but um other than that i like it just little things like that i think it makes a truck look a lot cleaner and then as far as window tint I went with 15% all around and for the windshield I went with 35% yeah 35 so to me that's perfect it's not too dark but it's also dark enough if that makes sense I like it now as far as the wheel and tire setup I have 33 inch tires and 17 inch rims and the lift I have is a two and a half inch lift up front and a one inch lift in the rear. So the shocks that I went with are the Bilstein 6112. So just in case y'all didn't know, like these shocks are sold like in pairs, like you, you can get them in pairs. So for example, like these shocks up front are not the same as the shocks in the rear. So these shocks, if you Google them, if you look it up, these are the Bilstein 6112 or 6112. Come with a spring, I like them. And they give you up to two and a half inches of lift. Now they're adjustable, so you can make them lower or higher if you want. Mine are set up to the highest setting, which is two and a half inches. And then these in the rear are the Bilstein 5100. Let me show you guys real quick. I like them. Uh, I've had no issues with them. I definitely recommend them. But I'm gonna let y'all know that they do ride pretty stiff. So if you're okay with that, I, I mean, I would definitely recommend these. They definitely fix the nose dive that Toyotas tend to have. So for example, you know, when I first got this truck, if you were to slam on the brakes, you know, at higher or even lower speeds, like you would definitely like see this, like, like if that makes like you would feel like the truck just like nose dive. And uh, this definitely fixes that. The truck feels much more stable. It feels more balanced and just better it just drives better all around it just handles better so I, I definitely recommend these shocks and as far as the tires that i have i have the bf goodrich ko2 tires so again these are 33 inch tires and then for the rims i have the method race 703 that, that's what they're called so i'm pretty sure you guys have seen that there's another rim that looks exactly like this but like it has like the little screws around it and it has a little different center cap it's the same rim as that just like a slightly different version so this is a more cleaner version of that right so it doesn't have the screws around it it has a basic center cap which i prefer because i think it looks cleaner 
right? You don't see these as much. You see the other ones more often. I like these better. That's just my taste. So again, these are 17 inches. I think these are 17 by eight and a half or 17 by 8.5. So they do stick out a little. And that's, that's with no spacers. I don't use spacers. I don't have them. That's just the wheel and tires. So I like it. I'm, I'm pretty happy with how these look. So guys, these are 33 inch tires and I haven't done any trimming at all. I haven't done the cab mount chop, which a lot of people suggest for Tacomas. I haven't done anything. This truck really doesn't rub at all. The only time it rubs is whenever I do a full turn, or like maybe a tight, like a U-turn or something, or if I'm reversing and I turn the wheel all the way, yeah, it'll rub a little bit. But other than that, there's really no rubbing in this truck. Now, as far as upper control arms, I have the SPC upper control arms. So guys, anytime you're doing a lift kit, you're more than likely gonna run into issues if you don't use aftermarket upper control arms because the factory, the original control arms that come on these trucks, like these right here, they're, they're made for a certain height. So once you start, you know, putting a shock or, or lift kit that's like stretching it out, this is gonna start to rub and it's just gonna give you some problems. So it might rub with your wheel or it might rub with like the actual spring or the shock itself. Um, it just depends, but um, you more than likely will need upper control arms. So the ones I went with are SPC. That's this is the brand that a lot of people recommended to me at the time. However, I haven't had it to. I haven't had like the best experience with them, so I, I don't recommend them honestly. So I've had these. Uh, I've had these control arms for like a little over probably like a year and a half, two years. And uh, at about 40,000 miles, I replaced this ball joint right here. So this ball joint, I had to replace like maybe like, what, a month ago, two months ago? Not that long ago. But uh, I just feel like 40,000 miles is really not that good for a ball joint. I don't think it's that good. I mean, the original ones lasted, you know, up to 120,000 miles. You know, this truck is has plenty of miles, but the original ball joints lasted over 120,000 miles. So why are these failing at 40,000? That's the way I look at it. So I'm not too happy with these, not gonna lie. Um, comment below what y'all think. Am I off on something? But that's that's me personally. Like I'm not a fan of these control arms. I won't be using them again. But, um, but yeah, just giving y'all a heads up. So these ball joints too, if you do go with SPC, you can only get replacement ball joints through them. And of course, they are more expensive than regular ball joints because these are the adjustable special ones, right? So yeah, they're a little pricey compared to the normal ball joints you can get for any other control arm. So for those reasons, guys, I don't recommend this control arm. You know, they, it's, it's pricey and it's not really like the quality that I expected. Now, going forward to the lighting and the front end, for the grill, I had this grill swapped out. So this is a TRD Pro grill. Had that taken off. I had the old one taken off and I had this one put instead. I think it looks much better. And uh, as far as the headlights, I went with I went with the Alpharex Pro headlights. So these are like the cheap ones, right? Because these were 500 bucks. Well, actually I got them on sale. They were like 400, but um, they have some that are like 800 or a thousand dollars. And the reason I didn't go for those is because I already have like, I have these right here. I have this lights up top. I have more lights like behind the grill. So for me, it didn't make sense to pay a thousand dollars for headlights when I already have plenty of other lighting. That's just, that's just me personally. But just a heads up, if you are gonna get this headlight or this style of headlight, I, I'm just gonna let y'all know like that the cheap ones, like which is the ones that I have, the, the pros, these come with a halogen bulb. So that bulb in there is a halogen bulb and it's not that bright. Like the lighting output on that light is not that good at all. Just giving y'all a heads up. What I went with for the ditch lights are the rigid side shooter. So guys, this is the rigid floodlight. I think this is a like, I mean, this is a floodlight. So these don't shoot like very far out, but they light up a wide area. So you got the six LED pattern and then you have three more on this side. They're very good. Like I can literally see like anything like from here forward, I see everything at night. So I definitely recommend these. And um, I mean, any car in the future that I'm gonna, that, I, that I have, I'm gonna be putting these on. Like I, I, I love them. Once you have them, you can't go without them. That's, that's just me personally. And then 
at the bottom they're very similar to those up top the only difference is they don't have the side shooter so these are the six led pattern as well these are again like floodlights so they do light up a wide area very well but they don't shoot like really really far which is you know that's fine like for what i need them i mean these are like fog lights so for what i need them that's fine um again these are not like these aren't street legal and uh you're definitely gonna upset oncoming traffic so just a heads up but i don't regret them i don't regret installing them um however to install them i did need to customize these brackets so these are cali raised led brackets and um because they don't make rigid brackets for a second gen tacoma like mine i had to custom make mine so these are the cali Ra cali raised led brackets and i had to do some cutting and trimming and even like a little bit of welding to get these to fit so you don't see a whole lot of tacomas out there like this year like th like a second generation tacoma with rigid fog lights you just don't because they don't make those brackets for this truck you have, you have to custom make them but i did and i i don't regret it i absolutely love them i i i don't i wouldn't go back now as far as the lights behind the grill these are the rigid xl hyper spot now these are good for lighting up a long distance so these aren't like floodlights like my other ones these don't light up a wide area they light up in a long straight line so they shoot very far out so like for example like if you're driving at night like let's say you're on you know dark country back roads where there's nothing at all these are great because i can see like almost a mile ahead of me you know so if you're going like 50 60 70 miles an hour you're not gonna outrun these lights like you can see far enough to where if there's something far enough ahead on the road you can see it and you know avoid hitting something so they're great i absolutely love them i don't regret them yeah they're a little pricey but i don't regret them now similar with uh those up top this is a rigid spot led bar this is a 30 inch led bar and this is a spot pattern so it doesn't light up a wide area but it shoots very far out so very similar to the hyper spot these are very good for like high speed driving at night uh, where there's not much lighting around you they're very good because i can really see if there's anything ahead of me uh, so it really, it, I mean, for me, I love them. I, I definitely recommend them because it, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's a way for you to be safer on the road when you're driving at night. It's a way for you to avoid accidents and avoid hitting something if you can see it from far away and avoid it, you know? So that's just me personally. I recommend them. They're not cheap at all. These lights are not cheap. And if you guys know about Rigid, they're not cheap. But I recommend them. They're good quality they obviously light up very well they perform well and uh the price reflects that you know so it is what it is you know you, pay, you get what you pay for so that's that's my lighting situation i i 1000 percent love what i have actually let me uh let me turn them on real quick let me see if i can get them on So, of course, if you're going to have a lot of lights like I do, you're going to need a switch panel. So, what I went with is the, I think this is, um, what's it called? Pro Comp. I think it's, I don't know exactly, like, what, what model, like, what number it is or what, like, name. All I know is that it's a Pro Comp brand a switch panel. So, there's a six button. So, these come with, like, a lot of little stickers that you can stick on. Um, these two haven't, like, they're not wired to anything. So, I can add more lights if I wanted to. I, I want to I just don't know where to put them but um for now this is what this is what I have guys it was a mess I had tons of wires just all over the place it looked like a spider web it was just very very messy I ended up getting a switch panel right here so that little box you see right there, that right there, that's where I have all my lights wired. So instead of having, you know, dozens of wires plugged into your battery, 
I have one unit that connects all my LEDs into one place and that connects to the battery and instead of you know it's it's it gives it a cleaner look and it's more reliable I definitely recommend it I was getting a lot of shorts originally but once I had this installed it was much better no more shorts no no more burnt fuses Okay, so I've made a few changes to the interior as well. I'm not a big fan of how these trucks come from factory. Because I'm sure I'm sure you guys know, but like these trucks, you know, the second generation Tacoma, they're made from 2005 to 2015. So if you look at a 2005 Tacoma, it has the same interior as a 2015. Like really the only difference is the steering wheel and like this part's different, but everything else is the exact same. And I'm not a big fan of just how basic and how, you know, just like cheap looking these interiors are, you know, like I get it. It's 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 a pickup truck. It's not a Mercedes, but um, I would at least like it for like all this gray plastic, all this gray to at least be black. You know, I just think it would look nicer. And that's not really a luxury thing. I just think it would look nicer if it was all black instead of uh, that gray. I'm just not a fan of that gray on the on the interior. But uh, yeah, so the most recent, um, I guess, mod, if you want to call it that, that I've done is this little shift knob right here. So this is a little shift knob I got off eBay. It was like 15 bucks. And uh, you just like screw the old one off and, you know, screw this one in. Um, but guys, little things like this, I recommend it because, believe it or not, it actually does make a difference to your truck. It definitely gives it a nicer feel. Because think about it, you know, every day you go to work or like the gym, whatever you're going, wherever you're going to you're always using your shifter. So if you have a nice shifter, it, it gives your truck a nicer feel and I think it looks better too. So I had I had that, I, I swapped that out. I also painted this black. This used to be gray, just like this right here. I am gonna paint this too, I'm working on that. But um, yeah, I painted this like matte black to go with the seats and I plan on painting this like gloss black so it can go in with the it'll go with the radio better but um yeah i've also made some changes to a steering wheel so this i mean if you guys have seen my previous video on my honda this looks very similar to the steering wheel on the honda so i did the stitching i did the leather wrapped around it it's got the red stitching i think it looks better it uh, definitely feels better. It's it's thick. It's nice, you know, and um, definitely gives your truck a nicer feel. I recommend it. It was tedious, and it definitely tested my patience. But I mean, once it's on there and you, you do it right, it it, it looks good. And uh, I also got these little um, like it's like pretend carbon fiber. It's like plastic or something. But you just stick it on, and it sits on top of the old old plastic trim. So instead of having this this color plastic right here. It's covered by this and uh, I like it. I think it looks better. And then this is like a little like add-on. Like um, you just basically stick this on, on top of your old like emblem and it covers it up. So instead of having a chrome em emblem or chrome Toyota logo, you have this. I think it looks better. Um, so you don't have to actually remove the old logo. You just stick this on and that's it. You're good to go. For the doors, I also, went with this little like plastic right here i just think it looks nicer you know like you got the matching shifter and the matching like steering wheel and on the doors i got it all off ebay it, it wasn't like it was pretty cheap not gonna lie and uh, i like it it doesn't look like cheap or ratchet i think it looks decent so overall i'm pretty happy with with this interior how how it looks it looks a lot better than it used to I 1000% recommend you get floor mats like these. So these are like, they're similar to WeatherTech, but it's not, this is not that brand, but they're similar to WeatherTech floor mats. Like these like, you know, like thick floor mats. They definitely keep your interior cleaner. And uh, I recommend them. They're a little pricey, but I recommend them. And then as far as the seats, I went with Clasio seat covers. Now, guys, they don't sponsor me. They don't pay me or anything. I wish they would. But um, I 1,000% recommend these seats. You know, like any car I have in the future, if, if they have cloth seats, um, I'm definitely putting these on. 
you know for what they are because these are seat covers so it's not like they're not real leather seats but for what they are i think they look pretty good you know they they feel pretty good they look decent um it's really going to depend on how well it's going to depend on how well you install them like for example like this little part right here i haven't figured out how to make it look better so just kind of like you got a little little budge right there but um other than that i'm really happy with these seats i'm really happy with how they came out and they really give the truck a much nicer feel they don't look like seat covers at all they got a nice look and feel to them i also did this so you know you got the got the matching um armrest to go with it and then it kind of goes in with the steering wheel a little bit too because then you got like this leather leather it's not real leather but it's like pretend leather but um yeah all in all i'm pretty happy with this interior i definitely recommend you guys look into making your interiors a little nicer it, it definitely gives the truck a nicer feel and uh it's it, you know i mean think about it like how much time are you spending in your truck or in your car like everywhere you go you're driving you're always driving somewhere you know you want you want your interior to be a nice place to be in so that's me personally how i look at it that's what i've done to my interior guys let me know what y'all think so that's pretty much it for this video guys let me know what y'all think about it let me know if there's anything that i miss or anything that y'all want me to go into more detail about there's definitely a lot of things that i've done to this truck that i regret not getting on video so just to give you guys an example like when i did my seat covers a while ago that took a whole afternoon to do it and i kind of regret not getting it on video because i could have shown you guys like hey here's what i'm doing to my truck here's what you can do to make yours nicer right so going forward if there's anything that i want to do to my truck i want to get it on video kind of show you guys like hey here's what i'm doing here's what you can do to make your truck nicer and kind of just you know give you guys some ideas so yeah let me know what y'all think about this video did you like it did you not like it comment why um yeah let me know <laughs> Ha 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 ha!